Next up in the wearable fitness unboxing is the Jawbone Up. Now, I really wanted to play with this last season, but the first model was pretty much a disaster. It was so bad that they stopped selling it, pulled it from shelves, wouldn't talk about it in public, and then have finally released a new version. So let's check it out. This is very similar to the Nike Fuel Band in that it's meant to be worn all the time on your wrist. And it does similar functions in terms of tracking activity, calculating your calories, things like that. It is also, unfortunately, super hard to get out of the box. I don't want to rip the box. Oh, there's tape right here. Haha. -ha. Oh, the tape even has a little arrow that says, hey, dummy, pull here. Whatever. Tape down. Second tape down. The arrows are kind of small. Ta-da. Well, that was easy. OK. Get to know the up band. <laughs> I like their little get to know thing because the up band is pretty much as simple as it can get. There's no screen, and there's only one button. So they're like, hey, there's a button right here and an LED right here, and you're done. All right, let's get it out of here. Oh, look, a little tab that says open. I don't like this. I need a lot of instruction. Getting started is a two-step process. Get the app, activate your band. The app is, I'm sorry to say, only available for iOS, much like the Nike Fuel Band. So if you do want an Android solution, it's pretty much the Fitbit, which unfortunately doesn't sync wirelessly with Android. Sorry, Android. You guys get the stick once again. Here's our little uh, Jawbone charger and USB dongle. I wish it matched. I'm just saying, that's kind of tacky. What do I do now? Ah, look at this! Lift. I love it. I love this packaging. Ooh. Oh, wow. I am delighted by the cleverness of this packaging. Ta-da! Bye-bye! It's presented like fine jewelry. Okay. So it's pretty much just a little one-size-fits-all snap-on bracelet. Actually, it's not one size fits all. I'm sorry, it comes in various sizes. We ordered the medium and green. It also comes in black and maybe some other colors. Okay, so let's see here. Let's refer back to our where the things are. The mode button is literally just this little guy at the end. Oh, there's our LED. So apparently it just changes between green and red depending on what it's doing. Oh, there's some blue and some flashing. Maybe that's sinking. Oh, oh, some red and green flashing. I don't know what any of that means. Maybe once I do the specs, we'll know. The Jawbone Up comes in three sizes, small, medium, large, and a variety of colors. It has a pretty straightforward interface, as you saw. It's equipped on the inside with a motion sensor. It has the single push button interface, a vibrating motor for notifications, the app is only available for iOS 5.1 or greater, but you can run it obviously on an iPhone, an iPod Touch, or an iPad. Battery life, extremely great. You can use it for up to 10 days between charges. However, you will probably have to plug it in before that because you cannot sync the Jawbone up wirelessly at all. It has no Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You have to plug it in to sync data and charge it. The up works as a pedometer that can also calculate the number of calories that you burn during a day based on your age, height, and gender. It also breaks down your daily activity in terms of how long you've been active, your total time active, and of course, your longest time idle. Like the Fitbit, the Jawbone Up Band can also track your sleep and see how long it takes you to fall asleep, how many times you woke up during the night, all based on your movement. The Up's app allows you to log your meals and of course all of your other activity. And this is kind of cool, it has an idle alert feature and it will vibrate if it detects that you haven't moved after a predetermined amount of time. This is great for somebody who might have RSI and needs a little haptic feedback reminder to get up and move around a little bit. The Up is water resistant. Jawbone says you can actually take a shower while you're wearing it, although they don't recommend swimming with it. It is a little bit expensive, $129.99.
The new Jawbone Up is definitely an improvement over the first model, and it's stylish and functional. I have to say, though, that for an extra $20, you can get yourself a fuel band, which has a screen, does all the same data, and wirelessly syncs with the iOS app. That's a big bonus to me. Also, I'm sorry, but would it have killed them to make this the same color? Because look at this. That is ugly. If it just came down to the Up versus the Fitbit, though, I think I would go Fitbit. This guy is much more convenient, not as noticeable. You don't have to replace your watch with this kind of funky looking thing. And it's a little bit cheaper too.